Starts today, the 45th annual Bay Area Playwrights Festival kicks off and the event goes through August 7th. So joining us now is Jessica Bird Beza, an executive direct, artistic director for the Playwrights Festival. Good morning, Jessica. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So the festival is a hybrid event this year in person and stream. So talk a little bit about how that really actually expands the reach to more people, more audience. Yeah, so I mean, I think we've learned a lot of things in uh, these past couple years, and we've had a lot of success moving our festival online. This is the first time we're coming back in person since COVID, um, and also wanting to keep the access online. Folks have been joining us from around the country and around the world, um, and so I think this keeps it flexible, you know, depending on people's comfort level, if they're ready to come back into the theater or if they want to watch from their home as well. Yes, it really does expand the reach and, you know, not just here in San Francisco, and it really is a launch pad for so many up and coming playwrights. So give us a little bit of what people can expect from this year's festival. So at this year's festival, we have five, you know, really exciting new stories written by um, emerging playwrights, um, and they're selected from an open selection process. And we have hundreds of readers, you know, who are behind these stories. Um, and so, I mean, at the Bay Area Playwrights Festival, we're witnessing and being a part of the new play process from the very beginning. So no one has ever heard these stories. If you're like listening to them, maybe the playwright has changed something that morning and actors are doing it for the first time. Um, but you really are, you know, a part of the process and, and playwrights change after the readings, you know, listening to what the audience, their reactions and how they're connecting with the pieces. Um, it, it can be really exciting. Yeah, just reading about some of the plays, you know, love, relationships, there's a lot of variety definitely to uh, look into. So, and finally, how can people help support the Playwrights Foundation? Well, well, you can buy a ticket and come out, you know, um, also donate. We're a nonprofit um, and our mission is to support and empower playwrights and their artistic journey and careers. Um, and so hopefully you can come out and, you know, be a part of helping to birth the next uh, generation of playwrights. Yeah, that sounds very, very cool. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for joining us and can't wait to check it out this weekend. Thank you. Eight months after making its debut, Twitter's premium subscription service, Twitter Blue, is about to get a bump in price. The service allows subscribers to undo a tweet and read ad-free news.